hello 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 everyone it feels like it's been forever um but i am early today it is 5 56 i'm almost six minutes early count them six uh, <laughs> but if it's been like what almost like a day and a half i missed three whole streams because i accidentally took a nap with charos over here um on Tuesday, and it kind of threw things off. Once, once he lays down on this arm, it's all out. I'm, I'm out like a light. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to play some Sims. Bianca is gonna have her baby today. The baby that we just agreed for her to have. We didn't make her have. We just said, yeah, sure, have one. I guess. Um, you are the first. Welcome on in, Sasha. How you doing tonight? How was, um, staying in the hotel? It looked beautiful. Fucking huge-ass hotel. <laughs> I enjoyed the pictures. They were very nice. Um, Bianca's gonna have her baby. We do have a dilemma tonight, um, which we do have to stay on pause to discuss for a little bit, because we have to decide whether or not we want cheeseburger to live forever um it comes at a price if we do um new hairdo welcome on in roy yes i'm a, i'm a skunk now <laughs> i went in and i was like um like i want to get rid of all the blonde i was trying to grow it out but i showed her the picture that i usually show her because it's the girl that usually cuts my hair and I was like, I understand if we got to keep some of it because I don't want to go too short. But, like, what do you think we should do? Like, where should we end up with the blonde? <laughs> and, and she was like, I think I can do something. And I was like, all right, great. And I came out with skunk, skunk hair. <laughs> Which, I love it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but fully, I, I took a moment when I looked at myself in the mirror for the first time. And I was like, oh, I've been called skunk boy before. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am now. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. I appreciate it. And I'm glad the trip was good. For something like that, sometimes it can be, like, you know, alluring and then not great. So I'm glad that it went well. <laughs> funky skunky. That's me. Um, right. It's 2 a.m. She just got home from work. Um... Where she is a felonious monk. <laughs> uh, she is in the first trimester. Oh, the skunk boy. You kissed a boy, twisted, and you changed your color. Big day. Welcome on in. How you guys doing tonight? Both oblio and twisted. <laughs> oh, in your dream. Okay, well. <laughs> that is a little different than, than in real life. Um, but still exciting. Still exciting. Um, wants to make something. She wants to become enemies with Octavia. We could do that. We could maybe do that. We do have to witness the death of a sim. Um, but we also, we have a little bit of a moral dilemma. I, I cannot forget about it because I, it's the reason that we need to stay paused. I don't know why there's no, um... Okay, we can call over Cheeseburger. We have to discuss whether or not we want Cheeseburger to be immortal. Um, because it does come at a price of he stays in our inventory forever and he's going to be dirty, unhappy, and lonely forever in our inventory. Um, but then we don't have to see him die. <laughs> we can, whenever we want, we could just take him out in build mode and look at him. Uh, we can't place him or anything, but we can look at him. <laughs> So it's it's a choice. Do we do we want our cow to be immortal, or is the price too high? Uh, an immortal, unhappy cow, you know. <laughs> Cheeseburgers are supposed to be eaten. You know, that's a that's a fitting metaphor. <laughs> um, do it as a career. Yeah, do a ghost show. <laughs> That'd be great. I'd watch it for sure. Um, quite exhausted. Well, you should definitely get some sleep twisted if you've been up that long. 
not sad cheeseburger. That's what I was leaning on. I was I was figuring that we were gonna come down on the side of it's better to let him go in peace than to keep him in agony. <laughs> but I I did figure that I would I would offer it just in case we wanted to you know just have an immortal cow like we have. I mean Donnie has the whole house now back where we used to live in Kelly's old house. <laughs> The whole house is empty. It's just Donnie in the center of it. Um, we unfortunately... Oh my god. Hold on a minute. Life hack. Life hack. We can go put Cheeseburger on the lot with Donnie because I don't think animals age when, when they're not on the same lot as you. Cheeseburger could go to the farm. <laughs> <laughs> and and live forever in greener pastures um that might be the way and then it gets the the barn out of my yard too um because i want to landscape and i don't if cheeseburger is gonna die i don't want to landscape around this i'm gonna wait for that to ha happen um but i think i think yeah picking up the barn and just moving it to kelly's house he he moves on to greener pastures we move on with our lives <laughs> Um, is he in there though? Yes, fantastic. Now, I think we do have to slowly get rid of all of this, which is kind of a bummer. But I, this is incredible. I cannot believe that I didn't think. I've been thinking of what to do with cheeseburger for a solid hour now. Um, <laughs> I cannot believe I didn't think of this until now. It does mean we'll never get to move Kelly in, probably, because I do want to visit Kelly from time to time. Um, but she has a nice house. Lavina had a nice house, and they shared it for a, nice, a little while, and she seems happy there. She's always watching TV when we show up. Yet again, my shelf has gone into my inventory for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> That shelf just really doesn't want to stay there. <laughs> In fact, is it maybe is it maybe this? Because this one wasn't like fully attached like to the rest of them. Look like they seem like they would be a grunt or a horse. Cheeseburg wait. What twisted? <laughs> Moo like they look and seem like they would be a grunt or a horse kind of sound. I see what you mean. They would sound like a horse or like more of like a uh. <laughs> I don't know. I think a moo suits them. I I feel like a mooing cow. That's that's happiness right there. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. We got countertops for leveling up in the career, the culinary one. We don't need that. But let's go to live mode. Airline food. Anyway, what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> um, so what I'm thinking... Because Kelly needs to go to bed, but the baby needs a bath. Vikram. Vikram goes to work today, though, doesn't he? He does. So I guess Raul will have to wake up and take care of the baby. But what I think I'm going to do is first send Bianca to bed. <clears throat> and then wake Raul up. And have him go to... Um, the old house with with cheeseburger which only seems right he is cheeseburger's owner technically back to crafting yeah i'm at 181 hours i think it said when i when i last saw too many <laughs> too too many um what i'm saying is it should be 179 <laughs> i should have stopped there arbitrarily um, we don't need to bring anybody, actually. I do hope Donnie's just there, though. 
I wonder, well, that's actually a problem. I don't think we can enter build mode here. Maybe we can? <gasps> no! No! Coming over here killed Monty and Monty! Oh no! <laughs> Accidental rabbit kill spree. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Poor Monty and Monty. Oh no. Our immortal rabbit overlords. They're just gone. Just like that. <laughs> Stopped at 150. That's a better number. Um, oh, poor Monty and Monty. And we can't we... It says no one lives here. We can't even knock on the door. <laughs> Um, let's go to build mode, though. <laughs> I guess. Can I still see... <gasps> oh my god. And Donnie is gone. That's the true loss. We didn't even get a notification about Donnie being gone. Oh my god. Period A, period A. <laughs> Uh, oh no. What I'm what I'm learning is that this is gonna quickly turn into a graveyard for pets, because if we place Oh no. We don't even get to access cheeseburger from here. The whole thing was a sham. We should have never come here. <laughs> oh no. I just killed Monty and Monty for nothing. We can't even place cheeseburger down here and now we have to go watch cheeseburger die. So Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> Buckle in, it's going to be one of those ones. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we're off to a, a hell of a start. A real hell of a start. <laughs> what I think, with Cheeseburger in our inventory, and hope in our hearts, we're going to travel to the Forgotten Grotto for a little bit. We're going to forget that we have a toddler at home who's sad. I don't care about that. <laughs> he can take care of himself. He's independent. Um, <laughs> we're going to try to catch that last fish for Raul. Something happy has to happen tonight. <laughs> I have killed... I've only killed two. No, I've killed Donnie as well. That's right. I have killed three. <laughs> Call me out for it, Twisted. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I cannot can't believe that going back to the lot, like, started their clocks again. That's so... You cried while watching Tinkerbell? Well, I hope you're ready to cry some more. Because <laughs> Cheeseburger is also probably going to die this stream. And at this rate, I bet you Dilbert's going to age up into an elder this stream as well. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what's seeming like it, it, the happenings are going on tonight. The happenings are going on. What's the happenings are going on? <laughs> I broke my brain, I think, I, by killing my rabbit friends. Uh, poor Monty and Monty. They were just minding their own business at this point, as they had been for years in-game. <laughs> they watched Bianca grow up. They watched Connor grow up. Hell. Not, well, did, well, no. Connor was a young adult when they came around. You're asleep? Okay, no worries. <laughs> Get some good sleep, Twisted. Thanks for hanging out. I do not blame you for going to sleep. <laughs> I can't even stay up for, like, 20 hours these days. Never mind any longer than that. I gotta get my sleep in. That's yesterday. I was gonna go get my hair cut at like 10. Um, Cause that's when they open. And then at like 8.30, I was like, oh, I have some time. I can I can cuddle with Charles on the bed and it'll be great. Um, fast forward to me waking up at 12.30. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll still get my hair cut, but like, I guess no stream. Whoops. <laughs> We 
What do you mean is this reverse psychology to get you to sleep? You said, no, I'm asleep. Good night. <laughs> Was that not you saying good night and that you were going to sleep? <laughs> If not, that was my mistake, not yours. <laughs> I'm not trying to gaslight you into sleeping, don't worry. <laughs> go to sleep if you want to go to sleep. I think you should go to sleep, um, but <laughs> I'm not saying that you have to. You gotta do you, you know? Actually... Once you catch your first fish, stop doing that, and then we'll come back and fish at the end of all of these. Also, catch catch the fish that you need on the first try, please. Was that it? No, that was a rainbow fish. Lame. Go get more frogs! Because I think frogs are actually good bait. I spent like five minutes on the, the fishing wiki um, for the sims. Oh my god, we gotta build a graveyard soon. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose. I've got a lot to lose tonight. <laughs> Poor cheeseburger. He's not even in like our inventory inventory. He's in our household inventory, so he doesn't even get to see this cave right now. Um, we have two striped dirt frogs, so we'll use those as bait, I guess. We'll see how well that goes. All right, well, fast forward through these things, please. Did he get, like, three treasure maps? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. He got two treasure maps. Okay. And a um, mysterious cube, of course. Bianca, why are you uncomfortable? Because you're about to pee yourself. Okay. Go, go piss, girl. You can take care of yourself. <laughs> Oh, everybody's sad. In the presence of death? Death of a pet. Are they sad about the rabbits dying? From losing a friend. No, they're, so, they'll, they're still sad about Miss Kitty? Didn't Miss Kitty die before Connor? No, Miss Kitty died last night. Connor died the night before, huh? There's been a lot of death lately. <laughs> I can't even keep it straight. The timeline is too too muddled. Um, catch this fish, and then let's go home, I guess. Let's spend some time with our family before they die as well. <laughs> the last little bit of time that we can with Cheeseburger, probably. Um, wow. This has been an eventful 20 minutes. <laughs> One more thing, Raul. Also, you stink. You a stinky boy. He's never gonna complete this aspiration. How much longer does he have? He's still got a little bit of time, I think. He caught a tetra. Okay, open your open your cube, and then let's go. Back home. I keep forgetting we live on in Henford on Bagley now. The gay residence. <laughs> Do you want to bring Santa? Just a casual coming home at 7 a.m. from the caves, bringing Santa along. <laughs> Maybe Raul could get with Santa, and then Bianca could have a baby with him, just for a little drama. I don't know. I'm feeling chaotic tonight. It's all the death. <laughs> I don't think we'll do that, but it would be funny. Mm. 
Good evening, Chris. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> we, um, we've had some ideas and not all of them were good ones today. Um, <laughs> oh, who's this? Omelette? You can't just drop an elderly fox named Omelette on my doorstep when I'm in the middle of grieving pets already. <laughs> um, I'm doing wonderful, Chris. I've had an I've had a pretty all right day. Um, we did just ha experience a a whirlwind of rabbit deaths all at once. Um, because <laughs> the three rabbits that have been immortal on my old lot for the longest time, um, all passed away when we went to go drop the cow off so that he would never age and because the cows in my household inventory he didn't he didn't actually come with us so we couldn't place him so cheeseburger's gonna die now too <laughs> and now so is omelet right after we met him um <laughs> so my night's going great but the the sims night could be going a whole lot better <laughs> um how about you how's your evening going Cheeseburgers for everybody. <laughs> That's like Greyman said, like, well, cheeseburgers are for eating, so. <laughs> it's poetic, really. <laughs> um, okay, you should go take a shower. With a steak on the side. <laughs> really use all parts, you know? Oh, Bianca's gonna pee herself and is also watching TV right now. Where? Oh, she's in her room. Okay. I forget that we have two TVs. So before Raul showers, Bianca should pee. And then you can wait outside here for a minute. So you don't walk in on her peeing. And the child has hunger. So we will real quick grab a meal. <laughs> a steak if we have it. We have a lot of meals in the fridge, because Victor's been cooking up a fucking storm. Oh. <laughs> That's the stolen objects room. Here. Have mac and cheese. Bianca is going to pee, right? And then Vikram. How are you doing? Vikram's doing pretty good. Vikram is the only one in this family who can take care of himself. <laughs> is that his pajamas? I don't think I've ever seen them. No, that's got to be like his hot weather. Do we have... Okay, thermostat's set to cool. Watch the cooking channel then, my buddy. You have not, well, not a comedy. You could watch a comedy, but I want you to get your cooking skill up. Go team. Um, we're going to have to place a cheeseburger down in a minute as well, but I don't know if he ages in my inventory, so we'll keep him there for a minute. <laughs> we'll give him a little bit longer of a life. Raul's not even sad about the fact that three of the rabbits that he's known his entire life are dead. Doesn't give a care. Do not, do not walk into that bathroom. Okay, he's going to the upstairs one. That's fine. That's great, even. I always forget we have bathrooms upstairs. I forget we have an upstairs sometimes. <laughs> one of the rooms is practically empty, so... And you, when you're done eating, which is now, I guess... And stack some blocks. His little glitchy waddle. I can't wait for the infant update, but I'm also a little scared. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't want another toddler stage. I don't want to have to take care of another sim. Okay. You go to work in like 20 minutes. Movement level 2. Beautiful. I'm gonna X that out so you actually go to work on time. Bianca, should you even be awake right now? If you work in 12 hours? 
I feel like you might have to take a nap today. Oh, and you're going to get food. I don't even need to take care of you. You got this down, girl. At some point today, we're going to have to take um, Blake for a play date, probably, um, with Cadence. Because I want, I want them to at least know each other. <laughs> um, and so far, we have not... I don't think we have visited John in a while. Oh. We never met uh, Martina's mom. Lavina gets a special place. She's the only, like, parent of somebody uh, who we've dated who we have the grade for. <laughs> the only one we knew, really. Um... I'll have to decide if I want to grab Vikram's sister's graves when they pass away. You're going to go talk to the plant? Maybe you should evolve them instead. Because they can ev apparently evolve. Uh, and then harvest them. You cannot. Okay. Well, we are going to have to place Cheeseburger down while we're out here. We're going to have to let him pass away. But we're not going to put the cage back. The, the, the nice little fence. He deserves an open pasture. For the last, like, 12 minutes of his life. <laughs> um... So you're eating, or you already ate. Okay, well. You ate, are you already ate, but it didn't fill up your hunger, like, at all? Get some more leftovers, girl. She wants to become enemies with Octavia. This is, her aspirations are always, like, hate on somebody. <laughs> Be a hater to this specific person. Bianca's still a great sim. Frankly. <laughs> Who's sleeping in the shed if it wasn't Cheeseburger? It's a dead Barima. Bazoo, syrup. Oh, ah, glory. Can we? Eh? Are you under the effect of the healthy treat? Okay, well. We'll see how well it get, does. I'm willing to bet he is still going to die this stream. I don't have high hopes after Monty and Monty passed away. <laughs> and Donnie. Oh, thank God we have photos of all of them. Which that's part of what I was thinking today is we have to get a photo of um, Vikram. We have to get a photo of Cadence. And then we have to get a photo of Mangle. The fox that uh, Raul started befriending. <laughs> we gotta get pictures of everyone. I wanna remember things, goddammit, and I won't without pictures. <laughs> you can come get food when you're done, Raul. I don't know where Bianca went off to. She's gonna go watch the baby. Who has to go to the bathroom? Oh, you know what you can do while you're up here, actually? You can polish to perfection. <laughs> Clean that toilet, girl. Go potty. Go potty. It's your birthday. We gon' potty like it's your birthday. <laughs> We're gonna poop like it's your birthday. Um, God, he ages up, like, next week. That's so long. And then he's going to be a child. Is 
Is she going out to the outside trash? No, she's throwing it away in the money trash. For ten dollars. Ah, this, this child shits money. She wants to go on the... Oh, you know what? I forgot, we were kind of having you getting into programming. We should have you do more of that. Um, hack. Yes. Hack the Lothario Trust Fund. He's already dead, but steal his money. I wonder if Cheeseburger will count for witness the death of a sim. It's a bleak thought. It is a morbid thought to have. Um, but I kind of hope so. <laughs> oh, the cat is watching the kid. Phil Dilbert. What's Raul up to? He is just tea posing in the kitchen. Would you like to um, do some laundry? Feels like we should always do some laundry. <laughs> and then maybe he can go um, fishing in the spot out front there. Because maybe Mango will show up and we can take a picture of her. Eh, eh, eh. Don't, don't you walk away from that washing machine without starting it. Thank you very much. Come go fishing with bait. Bianca's busy making that plug-in. Oh, no, she's hacking. And then you're gonna go potty and then go to sleep. It's perfect. That's some shit. She started the speakers from all the way over there. What's she listening to? Electronica. I like that for her. <laughs> she seems like an electronica gal. I really like this room. I think I did well with the denim floor room. Potty level two. Can now use the potty chart like he's doing right now. <laughs> Independent independent Sims for the win. Thanks, Sasha. It's my favorite room in the house. Like I like this bathroom a lot too. It's very fancy, even though no one uses it. Um, but Bianca's room is definitely the crowning achievement of the house. I like the kids' room, but I'm excited for Bianca to have her other baby. Um, in like a day and a f third, um, <laughs> because it'll, it'll let me add more to it. It feels a little empty still. Um, and at least having another bed and another kid in here, it will, um, make more sense. I think <laughs> we can, we can partition it out and everything. Heck yeah. We hacked the trust fund. We might even do it again, just for funsies. Um, maybe we'll make a plug-in instead. Raul caught a catfish. Beautiful. Is Mangle hanging out with us? Is Mangle anywhere to be seen? Where... Nope. Nowhere on screen. No. 
I'll be honest. I don't think I know what a plug-in is off the top of my head. <laughs> if you ask me, like, what is she, what is she making right now? I uh, shut up about cheeseburger getting on in years. None of that. None of that right now. I wouldn't be able to tell you uh, what she is making right now. But I guess it'll tell me when she finishes. He caught a goldfish. Raul was level 8 cooking. When did he ever cook? He's level 6 painting, too. Raul really did have a lot of interests throughout his life. He did a really lot of stuff. Level 4 logic, even. <laughs> oh, why is the child angry? Why are you asleep in there? Are you... Did the cat steal your bed? Don't go to sleep in there. Why were you angry? Raul cut a minnow. How long does it take you to stand up, Blake? Thank you. Go to bed. Go to bed in the bed. Toddlers are too much. Very stressed. Fifteen bucks. A malware block-in plugin. For browsing the web, safer for everyone. Ah, we earned fifteen bucks for it. Not bad. Hey, Cozy, how's it going? How you doing this evening? You've come to us um, on the eve of some yes. not-so-great news, admittedly. Um... In an effort to save Cheeseburger that failed, ultimately, um, I have accidentally killed Monty, Monty, and Donnie. I, Donnie might still exist. I don't think he does. Um, but Monty and Monty are definitely dead. We got messages saying so. Um, <laughs> so, oops. But... <laughs> oh no... I feel so terrible about it. I didn't think that time would start again just because I went back to the lot. But I, I went back to Kelly's house to um, place Cheeseburger there so that he wouldn't age. Because I don't think animals age while you're not on the lot. So in an effort to save Cheeseburger and have him move on to greener pastures and live with Donnie... I showed up and mass rabbit killing spree. <laughs> no eggs for me this Easter. No, I get coal. I get I get rabbit poop in my stocking. <laughs> I deserve it. I really do. Um, I I did not think that visiting the lot would instant murder them. Um, <laughs> but it did. And now we have to just watch as Cheeseburger passes away soon, too, so. Hey, Olive! How's it going? How you doing this evening? So instead, we're just yeah, having Bianca yeah. focus on plugins. Raul is fishing to try to forget the pain. Um, <laughs> who's this? Yosef Hanks. Oh, he's the Creature Keeper! Did we forget the Creature Keeper? No way. We don't even know him anymore. We really don't talk to anybody in this family. I'm doing pretty good, Olive. Uh, I have accidentally killed a bunch of rabbits tonight. But other than that, I'm, I'm having a lovely evening. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well as well. Raul has caught like four cameras. And so much like electronic repair stuff in these ponds. <laughs> Thanks. It, this this house was a lot, admittedly. Uh, next time I build one, I'm definitely building a smaller house. <laughs> but yes, Bianca and Vikram. He's a kleptomaniac. She's a criminal. I was like, <laughs> incredible. They met for each other, and he, he's really fun. We have um, 
we have a room over here currently for all of the things that he has stolen. It's not much so far, but he stole a mushroom from his job at uh, culinary. He stole a child's homework off of some someone on the street, I guess. Uh, we went to the pancakes house and stole this as inspiration for the child's room. Um, and while he briefly worked as a home decorator, he stole this after uh, I placed it down as part of the decoration. <laughs> he was perfect for Bianca. <laughs> I saw the pictures, Cozy. Yes, they looked incredible. I, w I would live there in real life, like, in a heartbeat. The greenhouse literally is so freaking cute. Every, every little, like, nook and crit, the little, like, walled-in, like, laundry that you have, I was like, oh my god, cozy. <laughs> I think you're a better decorator than me, and that's, like, that's, it's not even close. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot we got lilies. Are they worth, they're not worth much. Um, no, we could sell that, too. And the future cube. And the other digital camera, I guess. We have five cow plant berries. <sighs> I'm gonna sell them, and if we get another one, we'll plant one. I'm not holding on to five of those things. <laughs> no summer photos yet? Yeah. Made it a little too big. You're telling me. <laughs> I still don't... Half the balcony isn't even decorated. We just threw a pool out there and called it a day. <laughs> and uh, eventually Vikram's stash room is going to have to actually be decorated. I never realized you could see down into the kitchen from there. That's kind of strange. Huh. Okay. Um, back to what we were doing. Bianca, I didn't realize she had a camera. You know, though? That would make sense, seeing as Connor was the one who had the other one, and, um, he did. He gone. <laughs> so, you know what? Let's send these to the Geo Council. Ooh. That's a high recommendation, Cozy. And I I already was already thinking of getting get together. <laughs> it just adds a lot of furniture, it looked like. I scrolled forever through the like all, all of that uh, uh, ads. I keep checking to see if Mangle is back over here because I wanna take a picture of her. But she's she's a solitary fox. It's just her and Mr. Fox, you know? Who he have yet to meet. You know, maybe that was Omelette. Um I should have I should have said hello to Omelette while I had the chance. I was just reeling from Monty Monty and Donnie's deaths, honestly. <laughs> it threw me for a loop. Um the highlight streams and the new updates? I haven't yet. I've I've been watching through other Little Simsy videos, actually. I've been slowly watching through her um, old 100 Baby Challenge that has, like, 200 parts. Uh, because I'm, I'm a serial watcher. I will watch things back to back to back to back to back. So that's what I'm on to right now. Um, but I'll have to look into some of the newer stuff. Because I was... I finished the, the Legacy Challenge. I'm all caught up with that. So I have to wait for that one week to week now. Um, but yeah, I'll have to watch it. New dynamics and stuff. I was excited for some of the, like, closeness settings that it looks like you could do. Those seem cool. Um, because I love the sentiments, and if it's anything like that, then that's great. I love it. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? Well, people who have watched the video, probably. Spleen reticulation plugin. We love to see it. $34. All right, Bianca. Little nap before work, maybe? Pee like a champion, little nap. 
call it a day. Raul. Still fishing. Still no mangle. Salmon. Still no new fish. I can't believe Dilbert is not yet an elder. It feels like we've had him for forever and he's been an adult the whole time. Not to jinx it, but like... He's one spry cat. Ugh. Ooh. Raul's getting tired, but that makes sense. He got up at like 2 a.m. to go fishing. <laughs> After this one, he can go home. Oh, that's no fish. A kitchen upgrade part. Go home. Hey, Vikram's home. And he did not get a promotion. He did some superb work, though. And he swiped an object. We love to see it. What else did he steal? How I Dumped Your Father by Genevieve Serene. Um, is that trying to say something? <laughs> who, who is this for, Vikram? I mean, I know it's, I know where it's going. I know what it's for, but who, who is it for? <laughs> the room is slowly growing. We should put that lamp on the ground, though. Fun as it is to have it floating in the air. It looks a little better as a pile of stuff. <laughs> All right, Vikram, you stink. You should go take a shower. Oh, I did not mean to move this. Thank you. Go take a shower. You can go to bed. Baby is awake and still tired for some reason. Had a nightmare. I don't like that. I hate the nightmare mechanic. As Connor used to get so freaking many of the, those, he would never go to sleep. Too scared to go to bed right now. Okay, work on your movement then. Play blocks for a little bit. Have a little bit of fun. Do we not have a accessible pet bed? No, we do. What do you mean, wet clothing? If you're upset about that, then you can go do the laundry. That sounds like an even bet to me. Oh, and he's tired, too. He just came home from work, though, so that makes sense. I, too, am instantly, like, half half energy bar when I get home from work. <laughs> I, I'd say I'm about here, honestly, on, on a scale of now to then. Oh, my goodness, no! <laughs> what did I just say, like, two minutes ago about Dilbert? Um, he's, he's aging up right now, I think. You should wake up and come get food. Oh my god, Dilbert aged up. <laughs> so much is happening this stream, I cannot believe everything. There's so, there's too much. There's too much. <laughs> Every single one of the pets is going to die on us all on the same day. I'm so glad everyone is married. <laughs> I, uh, Dilbert... Look at him. 
Look at him in his sweater. <laughs> I love him. Yelka, come get breakfast. What are you doing? Or dinner, I guess. Vikram, you gotta make sure you do the laundry. <laughs> Unload and set laundry down. Did you not oh, start the laundry? Start the dryer? <laughs> Did. Oh my god. <sighs> Bianca didn't start the washer, so they're all wet. <sighs> Time to build the graveyard. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Add to dryer? What is happening with the laundry? And why are you not going to grab food? You've been standing there for like a half hour? Go get go get food. Go here. Do something. Go to work. Yeah, go to work at the very least. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, toddler is about to die of both hunger, attention, and energy. Really time to build the graveyard. We gotta open the fridge. What can we get? What has the least servings that I don't have to worry about putting back? I have so much fucking food in the fridge. Made by Bianca. When did Bianca make a loaf? Well, let's grab some of it, I guess. Food for the child. And then bed for the child. Bianca is going to work. Vikram is um, probably going to bed. Frankly, seven o'clock, that's not terrible. <sighs> Sad about the wet laundry still. That I can't figure out why it is why it is. Cleanliness, pristine, dryness, dry and warm. So why is it like that then? Why did my laundry break? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what a lote is. Oh right, that's like the the um like seasoned corn and everything, right? It looked good. Whatever it was. We're going to have to edit this room soon, too, honestly, because we're going to have another kid. She's on her way. I'm just assuming it's a her. Bianca, you should work hard while you're at work today. Oh, she is... About to enter the second trimester. Wow, everybody in the house is asleep. I forgot that's a thing that happens. Because, um, Connor was never asleep, so this just, like, I haven't fast forwarded through a night in, like, maybe, maybe five years, Sims time. <laughs> Ten years, maybe. Um,. No one has to go anywhere though, so yeah, we can we can keep fast forwarding till Bianca gets home at two. She is pregnant again, yes. Um, when I went to the cave with Raoul once, Bianca called me and she was like, "Hey, should I get pregnant?" And I was like, uh, uh, "What? <laughs> Aren't you my sim? <laughs> Don't I get to decide that?" Um, but I, just out of curiosity to see if it would work, I said yes, and it did work. She is pregnant. 
So she's, yeah, she's on the way to the second trimester now. <laughs> or no, she just entered the second trimester. So she'll probably have it tomorrow, Friday. I, you know, I don't know what I expected. <laughs> He wants to chat with Connor. Oh my god, Vikram. You barely even knew him. That's so sad. Also, you're fully awake at midnight. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Why are they sopping wet? Do laundry, add to dryer. But they were... Can I just... Thank you. None of that, thanks. That was some glitchy-ass laundry. Do the laundry. Add to dryer. Is something in the washer? What? I don't... <laughs> I think my laundry might be broken. Add to washing machine. There we go. And then he wants to cook a meal. We can do that. Wash laundry. And then you can make a single serving of a uh, mud carp. It'll be beautiful. And then, honestly, you can probably go to bed because you need to be on a regular schedule if you want to get promoted at your job. <laughs> oh! You know what? He has to prepare food for a job anyway, so that's perfect. And this will be some nice food for Bianca when she gets home. fresh dinner on the table when she gets home at 2 a.m. Who could imagine such a life? <laughs> From being a criminal to her boyfriend who stole a book about how to break up with your father or something like, honey, I'm breaking up with your father. <laughs> We've had a really eventful day, honestly. Vikram, you gotta make another meal. You gotta cook again. While you're feeling inspired. Oh, he was gonna go make a drink, too. Make a crown roast. Those things are cool. I don't know if they're gonna show what it looks like in-game. Um, what it looks like in real life. But it's like, like, bone-in pork chop. And it has, like, a curve to it. And it's done in like a in a ring, so it looks like a crown of meat. It's they're literally ridiculous, but they look really cool. <laughs> Someone orders one every once in a while on like some of the holidays near me, and it was always wild to see. You know what, Raul? You can get leftovers. And then, Vikram, when you're done cooking, you can go to the bathroom and go to bed. <laughs> Where is Dilbert? What is, what is he meowing at? Dilbert? Oh. You should also fill this, Raul. I love Tilbert. Oh my god, she was promoted to a minor crime lord. Now, when we, um, when we claim to be a criminal mastermind, it's, it's gonna be pretty true. <laughs> <laughs> we are. And we got new clothes. 32 bucks an hour. Not bad. 
Ah, uh, but she thinks it's a dead end career, of course. Every fucking sim thinks every career is a dead end career. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> is she sneaking up to our own house? What's happening? Still no sign of Mangle either. Sad. Mostly just her energy is down. That's not bad. She wants to apologize to Martina. Oh my god. She's turned over a new leaf. She wants to chat with Connor and get some sleep. She got permitted to a criminal mastermind and she's wanting to repair all of the things in her life. <laughs> I guess we don't need that to be out anymore, then. Cooking level 9 already, Vikram? Holy cow. That that feels quick, right? Wasn't he just level 1? <laughs> oh, we have a lot of fish in our inventory. Oh, so that doesn't look like it does in real life, then. Why are you still awake? Why are you, like, glitched out? She, like, won't move. She did this before she went to work, too. Like, move. Do something. Talk to yourself. I might- okay, hold on a minute. We're gonna save, and then we're gonna go to Manage Worlds. Hey, Panda! How you doing this evening? How's your time been since your stream? You missed, um, a lot of death. <laughs> um, I- I tried to save Cheeseburger by bringing him to our old house to live with, um, the old rabbits, and in the process, accidentally- restarted time for all three of those rabbits, which instantly killed all three of them. Um, mm. Can't get into Sims first off. The EA screen's completely black. Mm. You've uninstalled and reinstalled, which is unfortunately my only trick, usually. Um, <laughs> I'm not... I'm not a hundred percent sure. I go to Google in times in times like this, because um, honestly, I haven't even dealt with the EA app for longer than like a month, two months now. <laughs> I haven't I haven't done much with it. I don't even know what's going on with my own sim right now. Not the gallery. Excuse you. Go to Manage Worlds. Installing through Steam. Mm. Need some more ice cream egg? Heck yeah. I actually ate two of my, my cream eggs before stream as well. <laughs> They're just handy little snacks, you know? Okay. Now we come back in. And hopefully Bianca is fixed. Just kept trying it. It eventually worked. Mm. Until you had it downloaded on both. Oh, that's kind of weird. Kind of strange of it. Yeah, fingers crossed, Sasha. Panicking that you lost your house. Yeah, no, that would suck. Hours of work gone. I would legitimately cry if I lost this save file. Um, first things first, I guess. Let's make sure that Bianca is, like, fixed. That she can, like, do things again. She's still just kind of standing there. Oh, no. Bianca! 
Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> fingers crossed, yeah. Yeah, my, maybe I should, uh, back up the save file soon as well. Well, I think I'm going to exit out to the main menu and see if that helps. But if that doesn't work, what am I going to do if my air is, is donnied, so to speak? Um, <laughs> oh, poor Donnie. He was just living his life. He had the whole house to himself, and now he's gone. Which also, I guess, means that Kelly can move in, but that's still, like, uh, that's so un incredibly annoying. I really should have, yes. <laughs> um, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. Even if we lose things, we can always rebuild. That's the nature of a video game. Okay. Bianca. Have you broken entirely? She does seem to be broken entirely. My game is acting up. Just Bianca, though. I wonder... Hold on a minute. What if we have Vikram come interact with her? Call her over, maybe? Debug her? I don't have any, like, mods or anything, though. Is there a, is there a way to do that base game? Wouldn't move or dog. Mm. Had water stuck in his hand. Just do the commands. I don't actually know the commands, but <laughs> that might be... It seems like she's doing the interaction now, so maybe, maybe she just needed like a jump start. Do you want to go to bed now, girl? Absum. <laughs> yeah, but Sonny. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> Thank you, Panda. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. This is this is a stream that's going wrong at every turn. It doesn't seem like she can move at all, but she can. She did the like feel baby interaction, testing cheats. Then shift click and find the debug. Uh, I gotcha. Reset object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, that will have done it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Don't go sit then. Thank you, Panda. I appreciate it. I knew that. I knew. I've seen little Simsy do that every once in a while, um, but I didn't know how to enable all of that. <laughs> Just testing cheats. Good to know. Locked away in the storage center, you know. To the rescue, truly. Oh. Buy a pool at least one by one is what he wants to do. Maybe we'll landscape a little bit. And maybe that would be a better use of our time this stream because um, <laughs> it seems like live mode is not going so well tonight. <laughs> Had to do it to both sims, yeah. It was That's scary to have happen to the main sim. 
Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like everyone's having issues. It's probably not just my game. I wonder if... Because, I mean, the the new pack comes out in a couple of days. I bet you they're doing some work on it right now, you know? Integrating it somehow. <laughs> But there wasn't, like, a an update or anything this morning, you know? The the launcher didn't say, do an update. <sighs> Raul's doing push-ups upstairs. Actually, no, don't do that. Would you like to... Oh. I was going to say come play attention to Dilbert, but he's hanging out in Bianca's room. It's 4 a.m., you're not tired. You're not really anything. You want to go fishing? Vikram, you have to go to bed. I want you to wake up at a semi-normal time. And have a semi-normal sleep schedule. Because you have a 9 to 5 job. Uh, <laughs> it feels like you should um, have a better sleep schedule. Why are you sad? From wet laundry, still. You're still upset about that. Dilbert, why are you upset? And why are you blue? Why do we have a blue cat? Wait a minute. Okay, hold on a sec. Raul, come home. I think Bianca has the wellness treats. Give those to Raul. Raul. No, don't take to the vet clinic. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. Give a vet treat. The wellness treat. We are not letting my elderly cat be sick for very long. <laughs> I don't care that he looks cute while he's blue. Uh, she is in her second trimester right now. So, 15 plus hours. <laughs> Prob probably later on today. Like, later on the Friday here. Maybe Saturday morning. I'm just kind of hoping she doesn't have it while she's at work. Because I do want her to go to work today. Actually, maybe not. She hasn't done any mischievous interactions. You know what? Maybe she should take some maternity leave when she wakes up then. She cannot. Well, she'll take a vacation day. We don't need the money. She can take a vacation while she's pregnant with her second child. Thank God Dilbert is okay now. Are you hissing at Raul after he helped you out? Kind of mean of you, Dilbert. I will say. Dag, uh, uh, <laughs> You're also sad about damp clothing. Why is everyone so goddamn upset about the laundry, but no one can do it? <laughs> if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself, even in The Sims. Although, I don't know if I'm the one who should be saying that, considering I have recently killed three rabbits. Um, <laughs> so, I don't think I can speak very well on that. Thank you, Panda. I appreciate it. I When I went in, I was like, I kind of want to get rid of all the blonde, but I also don't want to go too short. What do you think is the happy medium? And she was like, I think I've got you. <laughs> and I turned out as as skunk boy. I've got I've got <laughs> brown on the sides and blonde on the top. In this, it, if I hadn't already been called skunk boy in my life, I'd be like, oh, that's just like a regular haircut. People get that. But because I have been referred to as skunk boy in the past, 
<laughs> I'm just sitting there like, she saw it in me, you know? <laughs> she took a look at me and she was like, oh, that boy's a skunk. <laughs> Shut up about Cheeseburger getting on in years. I know. I know he's getting on in years. I will want him to. Can we give him... Healthy treat. Good. Extend his life. Extend his life. Blake is very hungry. Well, Blake is gonna have to goddamn hold on. <laughs> never called me a skunk boy. Not, not once. Not never. <laughs> I know, I like it a lot, too. I didn't think I was going to like um, any sort of, like, blonde on the tip of my hair because I was, I thought it was going to remind me too much of frosted tips, and I didn't want that. <laughs> um, but I really like how it turned out. I, I don't think it could have gone any better, frankly. It definitely doesn't look like frosted tips, that's for sure. <laughs> Eat the mud carp, child. When I say it like that, it sounds like a punishment. Um, but I swear Vikram is a great chef. Also, wow, okay, when did you wake up? Yeah, watch the child. Actually, talk to the child, maybe, even. Brighten his day. Teach to talk. Blake, you're going to have to share a room soon. They have a... a oh my god, an adoring sentiment. Oh, he wants the best for Blake and thinks he's so wonderful. For some reason, I thought Vikram was not going to be a good father, but he's turned out to be a really, really good father. Maybe I was thinking a kleptomaniac is not the best role model, but frankly, it's going great. <laughs> Bianca has taken a vacation day. She woke up. Cheeseburger is now under the effects of the healthy treat, so don't you dare tell me that he's going to pass away later. Don't you dare do it. Okay, Bianca, come get food, and then you can pee, and then you can shower, and then you can uh, program, I guess. You've got a lot to do. You are the next heir, so that is, ooh, make a virus, maybe. A less wholesome way to make a few simoleons. Awesome. That sounds like Bianca. <laughs> Why are you sad? Oh. Cheeseburger didn't want to hug him? Oh my god, that's probably like the last time we'll get the chance to, though. You can't say no to that. Okay, you can stack some blocks. You can do whatever, honestly. You're going to go to work soon. You want to listen to retro music? And Bianca's getting food. How to get a sim to make a game. Hmm. I don't actually know. Maybe that would be programming, but I think... That's probably, if it is, you'd have to, like, level up on the programming skill. Um, if it's not that, though, I don't know what else it would be under. Because you can mod a game. But I don't think that would count. I don't know. 6,000 uh, satisfaction points for Bianca, though. That's pretty cool. Because I want to get her the same thing Connor had, where she, like, doesn't have to go to sleep ever. Because if she's going to be a criminal and have this whack-ass fucking work schedule, we're going to at least make it so she's never tired. <laughs> 
Yeah, I bet you you need to be like level like five or six to do that, probably. I think I'm level four, so maybe we'll find out soon. Yeah. We'll have Bianca try to let, reach there and find out tonight. <laughs> Blake is playing with those. Vikram is 20 minutes late for work. No, do not miss work. Go to work. And try to get a promotion today. It would be lovely. Hey, Nai, how you doing tonight? How's your evening so far? Work hard. Bianca's gonna program... Vikram, not Vikram. Why are you embarrassed? Oh, oh my god. He walked in on Bianca Pian. <laughs> ah, program level 8. Okay. But now you made it too small. That's what I was worried about doing with this house, and that's why it's too big. <laughs> it's It's so hard to balance. Oh my god. Two level level, yeah. That's funny, though. You went too small, I went too big. <laughs> um, yeah, next house I'm definitely... I'm, I'm not doing this big again. No way. It's going to be sized down. <laughs> maybe maybe a couple more floors. Maybe three floors instead of two. But we're, we're keeping the rooms tiny. <laughs> None of this open floor plan, raised kitchen, huge-ass bedrooms. <laughs> Uh, what did I want to have Raul do? Right, he was going to come do laundry. Making a mobile app and then a game. Uh, made it smaller because of, <laughs> because of my house, yeah. <laughs> it did become an issue, just how big this house is. Um, I still haven't fully decorated it either. There's still so many, like, walls and stuff that are empty and... <laughs> <laughs> shelves that have nothing on them. There's too much. Too much to do in this house. Miles Glover. Delivering my bills. Who's calling? Lindsay. Yeah, have a friend. That's great. Oh, did we not get bills in the mail? Oh my god, look at that fox run by. Just became acquaintances with Miss Kitty. How, when are you talking a ghost, Miss Kitty? <laughs> I tried. I still think some of it is a little too empty. Like, the dining room just feels barren to me. There should be, like, something there, but I still don't know what. <laughs> um... But the rest of the house, I think I did an okay amount of, of filling in and everything. A chess table? We actually already have a chess table, though, somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Maybe we don't. I could do that, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, like, over here. Just as a nice little, like, near the plant thing. You know what I could do is I could turn these and then put it in between them so it's like a little, like, hideaway thing. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> um, Raul, go get the mail. Bianca is making a plug-in and you're playing with blocks. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Half of the people Blake knows are dead. <laughs> Collected everything from the mailbox, which was apparently nothing. Our mail was delivered. No bills, no nothing. Just, just mail. We got mail. <laughs> okay. The game is bizarre tonight. <laughs> the game is in a mood. Um. 
Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that they sold. I'm sorry to hear that you had to sell them. Um, but at least it's one less thing to worry about now, you know? Okay, Blake is doing good there. And then, you know what? Raul can come be friendly with Blake. Bit of extra money. <laughs> Every little bit counts sometimes, you know? When I was, I had, like, I had my own apartment, I literally made rent once with, um, like, just change from tips and stuff because I didn't have $200 of it and I had, like, a pile of change just from all the, like, tips that I, you know, added up over the time that I'd worked at Duncan. And I put it together and it was exactly enough to make rent. Um, which was fantastic. I didn't have to, you know, ask anybody for money or anything. <laughs> and ever since then, yeah, I hold on to change. I'm like, every little tiny bit helps, you know, maybe I'll need it in the future. Who knows? <laughs> Did you X out coming to chat to your grandchild? Kind of rude of you, frankly. Give me the rent and change. No. I went to one of those, like, machines that, like, counts it all out for you. But that would be funny if I was just like, here's $200 and change. <laughs> mm, anime statues, yeah. I never really got into that. I'm not, like, a huge material possessions type of guy. Like, I have, I have Ariel, of course. But other than that, I don't really have, like, things of the things that I like, you know? I just like them. I, I'm more of an experiences type of guy. You're almost done playing blocks. You've got to go poo. You can do that. You can do that by yourself, even. Everyone in this family is so obsessed with mixology. Yeah, I've heard that that rent is getting pretty weird over in uh in Britain in general. A crisis as some would call it. Um <laughs> He wants to mount a fish. I think I can do that for you, my guy. Oh my god. That's what we got in the mail. When did we get so many of these? I sent in two separate elements and we got like 12 back. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can have a couple of these on the desk now. I guess that's the true element of surprise. Ahaha. <laughs> oh, you know what? What is this? What is this? It's a little plaque. Xenolife friend wall mounted reminder. Mm. Hundreds more. Oh my goodness. That's nice. Didn't get raised even though you got a cat. Yeah. Yeah. When I, when we moved out of the apartment that I grew up in, um, we did not get any of our security deposit back at all because our cat Susie used to use the like the edge of the door frame not only would she climb up it with her claws and just like kind of hang from the top of it every once in a while which of course damaged it a little bit she used the bottom of it as like a scratching post and I when I tell you it was like that <laughs> it was a dent it was it was a chunk taken out of that pillar that she scratched into it so we didn't get any of that security deposit back but well my mom didn't get it but <laughs> it was very silly um she was a silly cat we're just gonna have so many elements on this desk and you know what the death metal can go back in the inventory for the elements i want the elements Minimum pay wage pay raise, yeah. 
I'll never understand that. As many times as someone will explain inflation to me and how it works and how, like, having more money just means more money in the end, I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, just don't raise the price. Like, I don't know. What do you mean, inflation? <laughs> I will never understand it. I just know that it's a part of life and I, you know, it's what it is at this point, I guess. Um, but it's one of those where I'm just like, you could just say no. Like, you don't have to raise the price when everybody else raises the price. 10% <laughs> wage raise, yeah. Yeah, just a cost of living raise. Knowing that, like, everybody is paying more this year, you know? Just let me have it for free. Exactly. <laughs> I still think everybody should get food, shelter, water, and uh, clothing for free. I don't think it's a radical belief. <laughs> I didn't ask to be here. I should not have to pay to do so. <laughs> I can't believe that that is like a a, a far left belief these days. Uh, <laughs> fodder for president. I would do a terrible job as president. I would go gray in a day. Um, <laughs> but I appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> I could not. I know. How dare I feed people? Frankly, it's it's wild. I saw a Facebook post that I made, like, close to ten years ago that was literally something along the lines of, like, I cannot believe that people deserve to eat is a controversial opinion. And it is still a controversial opinion. <laughs> In fact, I would argue it's a more controversial opinion these days, which is bizarre to me. There, there are people that think you have to, like, earn your right to eat and earn your place as a human being and like no like <laughs> you're alive you deserve food like i don't there's no ifs ands or buts to me i don't care who you are what you are what you've done you deserve to eat <laughs> bust it down and butter it up hunty <laughs> if that doesn't garner the votes i don't know what will if that does not get me elected for president of the United States, then frankly, I really do not think anything will. <laughs> um, Raul, what are you going to go do, my guy? It's 11 in the morning. You're retired. All of your rabbit friends are dead. Your cow friend is about to pass away. Oh my god, I wonder. Hold on a minute. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yes, I think I saw that like, literally exact same video, <laughs> Fanda. Um, and I was thinking about that while I was just talking about it now, too. It's just, like, it It just makes sense, you know? Like, I literally, I'll go home and I'll spend it on weed and alcohol as well. Why do I care if they spend it on weed or alcohol, you know? And that's when I see homeless people, I do give them a buck or two, usually. Because, like, it, it's almost nothing for me, and it could literally make or break their day. Like, <laughs> it's just, it makes no sense to me that people are so wild and stingy about helping people. Um, I'll never understand it. Just like I will never understand how every single time I go into build mode, this shelf is missing. <laughs> <laughs> this shelf has somehow migrated into my inventory. <laughs> I won't wish away your career. No, no. You could still have a career, Cozy. The cat can eat for free as well. <laughs> Remember, everyone eats for free under this. That includes cats. Because <laughs> cats are people too, if you ask me. Um, now that we've dragged this... Um, couch out here can i stitch from reference can i cross stitch a ref a reference of cheeseburger <laughs> this is cheeseburger death theater um <laughs> no i want to cross stitch from reference and i think he needs a place to sit to do so um he needs to keep up his royalty quality of life i know that's a, uh, I have to keep up the quality of life for Charles as well, you know? He's used to a certain amount of, did you? Okay, no, you're on your way. We just have a gigantic fucking house and it takes you seven years to get here. That makes sense. <laughs> 
Okay, the moment of truth. Oh no. We're too close. We're too close. <laughs> Exit out. I have an idea. Move it back just a tiny bit. Forget that cross stitch. Stitch from reference. Large hoop. Reference. Forget that one. Put it away. <laughs> Beautiful. The cow's rocking on the one way because he's on a runway, obviously. <laughs> And now we're going to get... <laughs> I'm going to let him do this one. A nice a nice um, thing to remember Cheeseburger by. A nice cross stitch of his ass. <laughs> Absolutely. Take the picture. Stitch it up, Raul. I, I don't think we're even going to try for a third time. That's, you know, it is what it is now. <laughs> we we get the cross stitch that we get out of it. <laughs> I cannot believe that. <laughs> the timing. Toddler just standing in a dark room now. Um, oh, because he's low on attention. <sighs> and he exited out of doing the cross stitch? Listen, my guy. I'm so sorry. Oh, because you got pinpricked too many times. Okay, well, you can come pay attention to the toddler then. And you were just going to go here. You're going to you're gonna stay in this room still. <laughs> you are locked in this room still. <laughs> He's got spoiled steamed fish in his inventory. Beautiful. Hold up, give my good side. <laughs> yeah. And one final fuck you. Because I was mad at him for winning second place. We'll put the chair back as well. We're not just going to leave a, a, a death couch out there to watch Cheeseburger pass away. Did I have to raise this to put it on here? Did it not slot in? I can't believe we're an hour and a half in and I haven't turned on move objects, frankly. Oh, weird. Weird that it slotted in right after. Rose on the way, baby. Who's at our front door? Oh, John's here. Hi, John. You can let it. John in. You know, it's true. It's true. I can't be mad at Cheeseburger for what was Julia Ship's fault. I, I well, you know, maybe that's who we can go be mean to next. Actually, we can have we can send Bianca <laughs> to make an example of Juliet Ship. Um. Why are you sad? Oh, because of wet clothes. That's not my fault. The laundry's, like, broken today. Teach the toddler to talk. Tell a funny story. Ooh, that'll be nice. You know what, actually? We could, um... Once she finishes making this virus here, I think we could actually, instead of hanging out here, we could take everybody over to John's house and have a little kid play date. Because I don't think um, we've seen Cadence since she became a child. We don't even know what she is on the um, in a spare room where they sleep in a sleeping bag. Oh, that's cute. Call asking to stay over. Oh. 
So hopefully when we enter this house, we won't, um, oh my god, no one's home. Why is no one home? Why is Cadence at a bar? Okay. Oh. Well, maybe we should travel with someone who's not the baby so that we can travel with everybody. <laughs> travel with Raul. No, travel with Bianca, actually. Heck yeah. We overloaded banking networks worldwide. Sounds great. 2024, oof. At earliest. No, the new pack set sounds super cute, though. I'm not even... I, I'm fine waiting for Sims 5, because Sims 4 is still so great to me. That, like, I'm good, you know? We're able... To, we're fine with that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'll have explored everything there is to do by that point, honestly. I'm going to invite Martina to her own house, and I don't think she's going to show up. Uh <laughs> Multiplayer, yes, hopefully. I'm interested to see how they would do it if they if they integrate it, though, because I don't know how like two people controlling Sims in a house at once would work, you know? I wonder what it, how it would happen, like, with their interactions with each other, you know? Thanks, Clade. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. How you doing this evening? Oh my god, Martina actually accepted the invite. And do they have... I don't think they have air conditioning in this house. In fact, they really don't have much in this house, period. <laughs> it's a pretty small house. Yeah, probably can't fast forward for sure. Um, yeah, it, that would be a shame to still be spending money on four and then finally and then get five like a month later, you know? <laughs> I'm glad you're having a chill evening. Seasons and Pets, yeah. 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 I bet you multiplayer will have a lot of like restrictions and rules and um, like things that you gotta you gotta know about. But I think it'll be really fun, and I think that they a lot of people are asking for it, so it's something that they'll probably consider. Um... <laughs> no being mean in chat. We can't be mean about it. Not on a kid play date. Which also look at Cadence. She's so cute. She has John's hair. That's so funny. <laughs> um, let's get to know because I don't know what her her trait is, um, and I think that would be nice. And Raúl, you can chat with John because he is your son. Um, and you haven't seen each other very much in the last little bit. Talk about a treasured memory. Brighten his day. <laughs> and then you wanted to apologize to Martina at one point. It was like a thing that she wanted to do. Only multiplayer on certain lots. That would make sense. She's erratic. Oh my god, just like Bianca. Oh my god, the traits are strong in this family. <laughs> Why are you so sad? Are you sad about wet clothing? And you can't even meet your cousin? That's so weird. Talk to stranger. Um, you can't even talk to John. I know it's so funny, cause John didn't have that hair at first either. He ha John had um, Connor's hair, which was actually Gavin's hair. So I was like, no, we need we need John to change his hair. He needs something. We need something different in the hairlines of this family. So I gave him the afro, and it's so funny now. His afro is carrying down to his child. <laughs> the hair the hair genetics are strong in this family. Um, 
ending the Gavin genes. John has done his work. <laughs> um, so I guess with the baby not being able to do anything, though, I don't think this is a very great play date. So glad that we saw you. Sorry about the heat wave. We're going home. <laughs> And we're bringing everybody but them. That was a great little visit. We we know what Cadence's trait is now. <laughs> That's what's important, really. I want them to know everybody in the family. I'm going to feel bad if I have, like, a cousin or someone that I just, like, forget. <gasps> I was going to get a picture of Cadence. Oh, we're going to have to invite her over again. Maybe we'll wait until she's a teen. I don't know. At the very least, we have to get a picture of Vikram today, because we don't have a picture of uh, Bianca and Vikram together. Who's this? Todd Wild. <laughs> oh my god. I love living here. I love the foxes that just kind of show up on my lawn. No worries, Nye. I appreciate you hanging. Have a lovely, lovely evening, even if I don't wind up catching it later on. I'm going to befriend Todd Wild, because how could I not? Give him a gift. You know what? Let's give him a cross stitch. I feel like I have a gajillion cross stitch. Give him the Larry the Lobster one. I don't want it anymore. Oh, no. Oh, a side effect that I did not think about this is that this is the very first time that the toddler has left that room, um, and it is the first time that he is going to have to climb those stairs. Well, <laughs> um, time to get a climbing then, I guess. He's going to get like pretty high movement by the end of that, though. That'll be nice. Onward and upward. Get to stacking, my guy. Bianca's gonna, um, talk to herself, I guess. Blake, I believe, can climb stairs. He's level three movement. And I think that was one of the last things that we got. Raul just became acquaintances with Todd. I love it. Sing to Todd. Give Raul's regards to Mr. Fox's better half. Oh, there he goes. Bianca's gonna go get food. That's good. Mangles Man. I thought that earlier also with Omelette though, because Omelette showed up on our doorstep as well. <laughs> we know a lot of foxes now. Uh, I didn't actually technically meet Omelette, but now we know Todd, we know Mangle. I haven't seen Todd again, or Mangle. Oh, but you know what? While, we, while we're here with Todd, take a photo of him. I can't. That's so cute. Look at his little orange nose. We'll take a couple of him. Precious. <laughs> oh, Raul, I'm so sorry. Can you... You still can't resume the cross-stitch of Cheeseburger's ass. Unfortunate. And he is, what, making... Oh my god, he made his way up the stairs already. Damn. Kid can really move. Oh, <laughs> were you not here for that, Clade? Um, <laughs> I went over to go stitch from reference um, and, like, make a little cross-stitch pattern of Cheeseburger to remember him by when he inevitably passes it away soon, and the picture that it chose was him not facing us. <laughs> So, <laughs> I know just the Calva in the inventory. <laughs> so this one is a picture of Cheeseburger's butt 
uh, that we are we are just stitching up a storm. But he poked his finger, so he can't continue right now. <laughs> He's being a little baby about it. The story behind this family continues to grow more and more ridiculous every single day. I <laughs> Sometimes it really does baffle me just how much happens in these streams. <laughs> A delicate art form for such a hardy subject, I know. How how best are you supposed to remember your, your cow, honestly? Other than a beautifully woven tapestry of its ass. <laughs> I, I can think of no better way. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's a struggle. Like... F this many sims is fine for me, especially because one's a toddler, and actually, as much as I complain about toddlers, they are sort of easy. Why are you walking back down the stairs, though? I gave you too much freedom. Come play with blocks. Build a tower. Oh, <laughs> this kid does not even have thinking level 1 yet. Never mind thinking level 2. Raul, what are you doing? Napping? Why is that the symbol for nap? <laughs> um, you know what, though? It's 4 p.m. You can mop that and then go to bed. You're old. You can have a weird sleep schedule. Bianca has the day off from work because we took a vacation. Oops. I did not mean to screenshot that. But since we are pretty much just kind of hanging around at this point, hello, closest person to me, Trey Queen. Would you like to have your day ruined? I have to perform some mischievous encounters, some some mischievous interactions. And um, you are the closest person. <laughs> Glad I just had the toddler replace the toilet. He's just gonna wait there, yeah, until Bianca gets there and it just starts to be rude to him. <laughs> Patiently waiting for me to come yell at him and fart in his face. <laughs> what a gentleman, frankly. She wanted to be mean to somebody, so this is, you know, share big news. Oh my god, hey random stranger, I'm pregnant, did you know? Your shirt looks like shit. <laughs> That's what this conversation is, by the way. Just just the play-by-play -play real quick. <laughs> he hates children. Okay, well that is a lovely thing that I started out with, hey, have you, guess what I am? I'm pregnant. <laughs> I don't feel bad about pickpocketing you and farting in front of you, and the fact that two pop-up windows showed up makes me think that Vikram has yet again stolen something, so let's find out. Um, he's a stainless steel auto pot. That's nice. He got a promotion. I do enjoy that. 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. is kind of stupid. I don't like those hours. Oh, it's just dead end. Oh, but he did steal something else. What did he steal? Dirty dishes? What is that? Vikram, what? What? <laughs> um let me let me fart in front of this guy like three more times and then we'll we'll come figure out what's going on with Vikram's stolen dirty dishes. <laughs> um Okay. That's all queued up. Raul is asleep. You're doing those things and you're ready to go to bed. Perfect. Unpause and it'll show up. That's what I'm figuring, but I just want to get everybody all, like, sorted first. He wants to critique something from being a snob.
strange. Almost time. Time for what? <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> he stole some dirty dishes. I cannot cannot believe this family. I can't we can't even put that in the stolen room because that's just going to stink up the house. Wait a minute. No, you can't get rid of it. You can't throw it in the trash or the the sink. This is a decoration item. <laughs> Beautiful. Just one more for the the winning team. <laughs> Can I not lower that? Beautiful. A beautiful pile of stolen stuff. And we got another fucking coffee maker. Get rid of it. And yet again. <laughs> yet again. Uh, because I have entered build mode. My shelf has <laughs> left my inventory. Why? Why do you do this to me? Okay. Everybody go back to doing your thing. That's incredible. He stole some dirty dishes that are just a decoration as dirty dishes. <laughs> Is that enough mischief? Great. Perfect. We can go home. Smell even worse being pregnant? Yeah, probably, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, the child is hungry. Drop everything. The child has hunger. You know what? Let's get some lamb for him to snack on. And you, my good friend, are not going to pick him up at all. No. You are going to, um, go do some cooking. A little bit of cooking. Maybe a gourmet meal. Start leveling up the gourmet cooking skill. Oh, not a gourmet fruitcake. That's gross. A caprice salad. You can come home. You're grabbing your lamb chops. <laughs> and then you can go to bed when you're all done. Bianca's jogging her way back home. What the hell? I, I think we mocked his outfit so hard that he took it off. <laughs> or he, we farted on him so much that he was immediately like, I need to take a bath. <laughs> no, I forget that you can swim here. It's like a thing that happens. <gasps> Is that Mangle? Raul, drop everything that you're doing right now and come talk to Mangle. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Skinny dipping, honestly. Skinny dipping in the dark. It is Friday night. Do it all again. Okay. Good job. Raul is on his way to take a photo of the fox. 
our friend. You're not going to go watch the baby. You're going to go eat. Cheeseburger is not getting on in years. Shut up about it. <laughs> ah. This has been a stressful but very fun stream. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, a lot has happened, and it's taken a couple of years off my life, but I am very much enjoying myself tonight. <laughs> Chaos, true chaos. Ro was gonna starve to death while he stinks up the place taking a picture of Mangle. <laughs> but it makes it fun, it does, it does. We're just gonna have to have so many graves when I build this graveyard next, which honestly, maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow morning. Maybe, maybe I'll have a nice early graveyard building sesh. Um, <laughs> because at this point, I think it is what is going to have to happen. We have a lot of sims and pets to have graves for. <laughs> Take stock of the trail of bodies that have led us to this point, truly. <laughs> All right, we got some not-so-cute pictures of Mangle. That's great. More things for the wall. Vikram, what are you up to? You should, um, come pick up Dilbert. And Bianca, you should get ready with the camera. Because, goddammit, we will take fi photos of some of the sims that I meant to take photos of today. The gravesite into my basement? No, we're gonna have a separate lot. Um, like a nice, well-decorated graveyard, I think. <laughs> That's the current plan. Oops, nope, I didn't want to take a, a photo just yet. Don't do that. Exit out. Pick up the cat. <laughs> Now you can take a photo. Oh. That is terrible. Hold on a minute. We can get we can make this happen well. All the ghosts. Oh my god, yeah, my house would be in shambles. <laughs> and Bianca go here. And then take photo. Still no. Pause. Vikram. Go here. Bianca, go here. And then we'll try it again. Take photo. Oh, that's perfect. That is a great photo. We'll take three, just in case. The curled feetsies. <laughs> See, it was worth all the effort, you know? She wants to try for a baby with Vikram. Should we have three babies this, this, this generation? <laughs> oh my god. You're not even done being pregnant with the last baby. <laughs> Third trimester in 21 minutes, actually. Um... I think she took the day off today, too. So maybe she can go sleep, because I don't think she has work in nine minutes like she usually would. But no, maybe she should stay up then. Because if she's not at work, she's got... Who is this? Oh, this is Vikram's sister. We got to get a picture of them at some point, too, both of them. Can you with the camera take photo of more than one sim no interesting okay well we'll work on that bianca um she wants 
gets to witness the death of a sim that's still the most bizarre aspirational thing ever <laughs> come make a virus i guess oh you know what let's hack uh the lothario trust fund again why not And then while I'm thinking of it, we have a couple of photos to to That's Vikram. And then Vikram has no photos. And then Raul has twenty one photos. Um one of John is nice. And then we have um, the foxes that we know. We'll have to go into Raul's room for this, though. Because Raul's the only one who knows these foxes. <laughs> he also has apparently a lot of photos of the other pets. Which I'm going to have to sort out. I think what I'm going to do is put graves down and then put photos down of those pets. Oh, whoops. That one goes there. And then I think the rest are all good to go back in the inventory. This one gets sold. So many fucking photos. So many photos. Frame these. Uh, hang up his other little achievement that he got in the mail. I don't know why we got that, but we got it. We're going to put it on the goddamn wall. Vikram will come over here, and then this photo of John can go over here as well. And then um, we'll keep this generation's photos in here, in Bianca's inventory. And I have to frame these and then go into build mode for a sec. We got to reposition some of these, our family photo wall. There we go. That's pretty good. And we still have 11 more photos in, in <laughs> the household inventory. I have so many photos in this world, it's a little ridiculous. Alright everybody, go do your own thing. What are you up to? Why are you sad? Go to bed. What are you up to? You're cross-stitching. Okay. After that... Who was that? Oh, that was the naked guy who was swimming. Uh, yeah, you can leave. You never were even over at my house. <laughs> okay. Okay, m weirdo. Um, Bianca can now take family leave. That's nice. That's nice. Vikram has got to prepare some more food still. And I think, honestly, once this day is over, I will probably call it a stream. Because I'm getting a little tired now, and it has been a, a hell of a stream. So let's make some bangers and mash. <laughs> Why are you tense? Because you're stressed from work and a looming anxiety. Do you have a fear of a dead-end job? You do. And of unfulfilled dreams. Um. <sighs> hmm.
I don't know what I should be aiming for with um, with Vikram here. Maybe carefree, just because stress is so it's such an annoying mood in in The Sims. Bianca, I know what I'm going for. It's that never weary. We're like halfway there though. It's pretty nice. And Raul has like 155. Yeah, he never gets to do his aspirational stuff. You can go to bed once you're done hacking. Raul, why did you go all the way in there to eat? There's so many seats at the kitchen table, and there's also a dining room table. I, you know. Vikram, is that done? No, you can make a drink, I guess. Why did I just get 120? Oh, because we, we finished hacking. I see. Baby's asleep. You're doing good. You're playing Blick Block while you're eating? No, eat and then go to bed. And Vikram, once you're done with the drink, you can go to bed. Hello, Charles. Would you like to come say hello? Come here. Hello. Best cat. Okay. Everybody's asleep at him, and he is on the way. Perfect. A treat, a treat for Mr. Charles. Would you like a treat, Mr. Handsome Kitty Cat Man? Give me one sec here. We are going to save and exit to the main menu. And I will grab you your treats, Mr. Charles. Oh, I know, I know. I just asked you to jump up and then, oh, woo, I'm sorry. You all right? He sort of fell off the chair there. <laughs> I asked him to come up, and then I'm immediately like, no, get down. But it is all in the name of treats, so I think all is forgiven in the end. <laughs> Hello. I know. Treats for you. He's been less of a cookie monster with them lately. He eats the whole cookie. I don't know if he's just that much hungrier, or what it is, but lately he has been eating the whole cookie. <laughs> the cat boy laser, yes. Save it for the next stream. You get a bunch of treats. You've been a really good boy tonight. But you better not wake me up tonight, okay? I love you. He's been a hassle the last couple of nights. He keeps waking me up at 3 a.m. to feed him breakfast, and I refuse to feed him breakfast at 3 a.m. <laughs> because that's not breakfast time, goddammit. 6 a.m. is breakfast time, and I will not be bullied into an earlier breakfast. <sighs> Come here, you. Crunch. <laughs> he really do have that big crunch factor. A Charles stream. You know, I almost did one this morning, um because he was on my lap and I was hanging out here at, at around that time. But I got distracted. Um, I was watching Izzy stream this morning and I got distracted by TikTok and everything. And then I looked up from my phone and it was 7.20 and I was like, uh, it's not worth it at this point. <laughs> I only have like a half hour. It's, you know, I missed my window. <laughs> um, but I do believe that that is going to do it for me today. So if you are still here, hanging, lurking, chatting, vibing, any or all or a mix of any of those things, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hanging with me through the thick and the thin tonight has really been the thick of it. Um, 
I'm going to have to remember all of the dead sims that we have just to remember to place down graves for all of them. Um, which maybe we'll do that, what's tomorrow, Thursday? Maybe I'll do that on Saturday because I have the day off. Um, and I just want to make sure I have enough time to dedicate to this graveyard because it has to be a really nice graveyard to to honor all of our fallen comrades. Um, but for now, thank y'all for hanging. Thank you all for chatting. I hope you have a lovely rest of the evening. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a stream in the morning. It's a, it's again, I work a nine to three, so I don't, I can't promise you there will be one. But if again, I am sitting here at seven in the morning and I have a Charles on my lap, we'll do a nice kitty cuddle stream. Um, we'll hang out for a little bit before I go to work. If not, I hope you have a lovely morning. Have a lovely rest of the evening. Thank you for hanging with me once again. And until the next time, guys. Bye.